Stephen A. Smith is just two days into a nomadic media tour to promote his memoir, Straight Shooter, and he's already issuing an apology. <laughs> Wednesday morning, Stephen A. Smith continued his book tour by appearing on Sherry Shepard's daytime talk show, and the first day host was asked about Rihanna performing during next month's Super Bowl. This is what he had to say. Take a listen. The one thing I do know is who's going to be in the Super Bowl. I right. got, I know this. Rihanna. Really? Rihanna. Right. Rihanna is going to be... I'm very excited. Are you excited for this halftime show? I don't want to say I'm not excited. She's fantastic. That's, yes. not, where I'm, that's not where I'm going with this. OK, where are you going? Ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen, she's a lot of things. She's spectacular, actually. Yes. And congratulations on New Mamahood. Yes. There's butt. one thing she's not. Uh-huh. She ain't Beyonce. I know she's not Beyonce, but you know, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on. Steven. The only reason I brought up, the only reason, the only reason I brought up Beyonce. Yes. Is because Beyonce recently performed at the Super Bowl. Yes, she did. And and with with and without Bruno Mars and Coldplay. Okay, so Beyonce performed, but she's had her time. I'm now there's Rihanna. Rihanna's coming back. She got that extra um of motherhood. I like Rihanna. I, you know what? I, I I like television. Uh huh. I like a lot of talent out there. There's some spectacular females in television. I just want to say that. Everybody ain't Sherry. Yeah, okay, everybody's not sharing. That's not throwing shade on them. That's appreciating their greatness, but understanding there's levels, you know? Okay. And, and we, Rihanna's music is fantastic. She's great. She's a sister. I love her dearly. I listen to her music. I'm going to support her till the cows come home. I'm just telling you, for me, there's Beyonce and there's everybody else, just like it was Michael you, Jackson and it was everybody what? else. You got to give Rihanna a chance because I really think Rihanna's going to surprise you. I think Rihanna's going to surprise you, Stephen. And we'll we'll leave it at that and we'll see. I'm going to text you after she You performs. go ahead and do that. I'm going to text you. got the you. number. I got your you number. got the number. I sure will. You got the number. She's going to be good. She can't be bad. She's too great not to be good. I'm just saying Beyonce spoiled. It's okay. Let it go. Open up your mind. That's all I say. <laughs> Look, I want to, I want to, because we can debate Rihanna. The stunt crowd booed Stephen A. Smith for saying something so ridiculous, but he defended his stake to Shepard and reminded her audience that there are levels of greatness. Stephen A. Smith held strong at least until he got into the back of a sprinter van to be ushered off to his next media hit and saw there was backlash over his assessment of Rihanna. And after seeing headlines that read, Stephen A. Smith says Rihanna and Beyonce. Stephen A. knew that he had to apologize. Take a listen. I just got out of a first take. And I saw some headline that's circulating all over the place about my quote that Rihanna and Beyonce. See, you know, I'm going to own it. I know what y'all trying to do, but I'm going to own it because I get paid to speak for a living. So I need to be more careful. I want Rihanna to know you're a superstar. You're sensational. You're spectacular. You're no joke. And you are a worthy person to be doing the Super Bowl halftime show. Having said all of that, I was answering the question from Sherry Shepard, who took over the Wendy Williams show and now got her own thing going. And I'm very proud of her. And she asked me with a bunch of sisters in the audience what she asked me. Now I'm a Beyonce fan. I think that Beyonce is not only a phenomenal performer, the phenomenal performer. And the only reason any kind of comparison came into play is because Beyonce performed at halftime of the Super Bowl, not just by herself, but one separate Super Bowl performance with Bruno Mars and Coldplay. And I thought those were two of the greatest shows that I've ever seen. So what I'm saying is anybody has to measure up to that. Last year, with Snoop and Dre and Mary J and Eminem, I was like, Bruno Mars. Beyonce, Coldplay, big time. They got to measure up to that. Anybody who does Super Bowl, a Super Bowl halftime show, forever I'm going to say Beyonce, Bruno Mars, Coldplay, and then Beyonce by themselves. Michael Jackson could still be alive, and I would say it's got to measure up to that. Eminem, who's one of my favorites, I would say that about him.
Coldplay. When they talked about Coldplay initially for the Super Bowl, I was like, not enough. That can't measure up to Beyonce and Bruno Mars, or Bruno Mars by himself, or Beyonce by herself. I've always said that. I meant it as no disrespect to Rihanna. I know she's phenomenal, and she's my sister. Nothing but love for her. But Beyonce is my sister too. I got love for both of them. I just think that Beyonce is the greatest performer out there today. That's me. That doesn't mean I'm hating on anybody else. Doesn't mean I'm damn sure wishing for Rihanna to fail. I don't believe she's gonna fail. She's gonna be great. I'm just saying that I'm a Beyonce fan, that's all. That's it. Rihanna, go do your thing. I apologize for creating whatever brouhaha comes of this. I gotta be more careful where people twist it and turn it into something it ain't. My bad on that. Now I gotta go. Good luck, sweetie. Looking forward to seeing you perform at halftime during the Super Bowl. You know you gotta turn it out. You know you gotta turn it out. And I believe you will. All the best to you. Bye-bye. I'm not sure if Rihanna really needs the satisfaction of knowing Stephen A. Smith is accepting of her performance at the Super Bowl, but regardless, she now has it. Now that Stephen A. Smith has apologized for saying Rihanna and Beyonce from the back of a Sprinter van, I can't wait to see when and where he decides to issue an apology for saying LeBron James can't match Michael Jordan. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.